Some thoughts about Luke chapter 4. It's mentioned, I think, in all three books now. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Jesus' temptation. I want to point out here, each time Jesus answered with the Word of God, For it is written, Jesus said, Jesus said all three times, but in Luke here it says, It is said. He's reading or quoting from the written word of God, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. I've mentioned this before, and it's in um, Psalm 91, where it says, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. It doesn't say at any time. That's how the devil thought he'd trick the word of God with the word of God that he monkeyed up by changing just a little bit. Let me go back to... Did I, I don't know, maybe, did I say Psalm 91? For some reason in my head I'm thinking I might have said Luke 91. I don't know. <laughs> Heaven knows what I say. Let's see. Let's go to it. Psalm 91, as I do this with one hand. Um, let's see. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. In other words, so that you don't dash your foot against a stone. To oh, getting a nice phone call here. But notice he says, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone, as though it possibly, it, it is a possibility. Lest at any time you might, that might happen. No, it means lest, so that you don't. There's no chance of it happening. And that's where the devil tops, drops in that little notion of lest at any time, you know, just in case you do. No, Jesus wasn't going to be tricked by that. But it's just amazing to see that God answers with his word. Some folks seem to think that God's word isn't isn't important enough to God, even that God would bother to know how to translate it and want to question the way that even the Word of God in the King James Bible is translated. Foolishness. God can certainly deal with the translation, can he? It's, it's been mentioned that, you know, every time God mentions even the word translation in the Bible, it's always a better thing. Look it up sometime. Do a little search on a Bible database. Look up the word translation. You'll see that it's always a better thing. I love this too. You know, Jesus reading in the temple. I mean, wouldn't you think that it would just be the greatest thing? Don't you wonder if there was even one person in that group that when they heard him say, Might this be the Christ? Probably unlikely. For it's more fun to be religious than it is to be spiritual. So it would be the Spirit of God that would give anyone the understanding or the inkling that, as they did the, the Roman centurion, the Roman centurion confessed, the demons confessed, I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. It's interesting. The demons call him Holy One of God. The Pharisees call him a devil. There's many more things to be noted from Luke chapter 4. I hope you can follow along and put some of the comments in the comment section of that reading. I hope you can join me for Luke chapter 5.